All right, so ultimately the goal here is to recreate uh, just a simple uh, disintegration effect, but doing something really easy using mops, right? So we're going to just create ultimately the same thing. And we're going to do it with uh, just one effects node uh, where all of our effects are going to go in. We're going to bring the character out. We're going to put all of that, uh, bring our pop network out, and then we're going to add like some instance to it, just some shape, some simple shapes, and then bring our displacement out. Uh, as well, so everything is kind of neat and, and good to go. Um, so I'll just go into our effects one and I'll recreate. We're going to recreate this entire node tree again, but this is like one of the easiest disintegration effects that we can probably do. So um, let's go ahead and bring a quick Tommy in and let's go ahead and turn that guy on. We'll turn his clothes and textures off. And then the number one thing that we want to do with any of our simulations is either subdivide or remesh, depending on. Um, or geometry uh, so anyways uh, so yeah so we got our subdivision in there and then the most important thing here is just adding that mops fall off so we're going to add uh, uh, let's see I believe it's a shape fall off yeah the mops shape fall off and what this is gonna do is give us the opportunity if you go in here to the shape um, you're gonna notice that uh, you've got a shape that's you know going horizontal we want to preview the fall off to make sure that we can actually see it, and then we're going to go ahead and uh, flip that by 90 um, so that we can animate it. And then I believe what we want to do is scale it down so we have a much smaller fall off. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to bring this guy, um, we're going to bring him back up here, uh, and we're going to actually let's you know what I think. If we flip him, what we want to do is we want to flip him on the 90 degree angle so that he is, uh, there's no fall off until we start animating. So, so yeah, so again, all of that's 90, blah, 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 whatever. Okay, so if we cruise out here to maybe like four, we can go ahead and hit Alt on our Translate property and start animating this over the course of who the hell knows, whatever you guys want it to be, however fast or slow. So as soon as you start bringing your fall off down, you're going to start noticing, you know, everything starts to change, right? So we're going to bring it all the way to the bottom, and then it's completely covered, and our fall off is, is good to go. All right. So now what we might want to do is if we go in between, we might want to create some noise, add some noise to it. I don't know, like let's take our amplitude, uh, you know, down and our frequency. I don't know, maybe our frequency goes up to like something crazy, but our amplitude, we don't want our amplitude up too high. I believe it was like 0.7 or point whatever. And then our frequency can be up kind of high. Um, and again, it's all kind of playing with the perfect, you know, whatever you need it to be, kind of squeeze that it down. And then I think you can do a little bit of, uh, tightening up on your fall off here. Um, if you choose to kind of fit it in, you know, and it just kind of clamps in your, and again, any. It, you just play with these kind of effects until you get a desired fall off. So, boom, you can kind of see this is where all of my erode is going to kind of happen. Now, the key to, to this is to make sure that you change your attribute to whatever you want it to be called. I typically name mine erode. Um, and then this is where the magic happens. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead, and if I play this back, you can kind of see what our erosion looks like. And again, you might want to uh, set your uh, keyframes to linear, um, but that's completely up to you guys. I'm going to leave it alone for the time being so it kind of moves through and then disappears. So now we're just going to go ahead and add some delete properties. So add a delete node, and then the delete node is going to go by expression, and we're going to target our erode property, and we're going to set it to 0 0.01 so that... Oh, is it a is it at a road or is it just a road? Um. Oh, and then make sure you set points. And it helps to go ahead and select the actual delete. And it is at a road. Okay, cool. All right. 
so yeah, and then select points again. So yeah, so basically what you're going to do is you're going to be telling this, so at at wherever that erode is, where it's less than 0 0.1 or whatever, that, that that's where we want those pieces of geometry to start deleting. Now, uh, a lot of times you can get some funky stuff in there. Um, a lot of times, like in the primitives, you can kind of see how jagged shit can be. So the, the key to kind of cleaning up uh, in some cases is to add an add node and then uh, go ahead and go into your polygons and hit select remove unused polygons. And a lot of times it can clean up any uh, floating uh, BS that's just floating around in your scene. I, I always use that as a go-to. And then this is my general uh, null out for my character. So character uh, out and, or decay out. And then boom, you're good. Uh, I usually go ahead and color those up. Now uh, we can go ahead and move on to uh, adding our displacement. Um, now typically what I'll do is I'll add a color ramp here. So uh, go in here, we target that, we make sure that we set our ramp from attribute to erode. And then uh, what we want to do is go ahead and make sure that our erosion I'll go ahead and add one in between here and let's set that to white and then on the tail end we want it to tail off to black again so we only kind of create this uh, erosion or this this fall off to, to target those areas right in between right and again you can play with the range here a little bit more if you want to um, and you can get really detailed with this if you create a VOP uh, network or a VOP uh, an attribute VOP but uh, I'll show you that. This is just more for simplicity's sake. Um, and then to create some displacement, uh, it helps to create the actual VOP. Create an attribute VOP, rename this displacement, and run in here. And then we are just simply going to add a displace along normals. And then we are going to make sure, God help me, that uh, we set um, the hell is it? It's the normals uh, into amount and into P, and we, we just want to scale that down a little bit. No, it's not normals. What the hell is it? It's CD into amount. That's what it is. So now the color is just set into it. So now as it's shifting, you can see um, we're getting some really kind of displacey kind of thing going on. Now this is a little bit crazy, so just dial that back to where you want it to be and tweak as is and as needed, um, you know. But anyways, there's some displacement for you. Um, and then again, you just might want to go ahead and delete. Uh, and again, the best thing to do here is delete by expression and then target your CD and then delete by 0 0.1. Um, go ahead and hit that add node again. And then uh, uh, right here, we're just going to um, remove those unused points and then we should be able to send this guy out. I, I think I've done something in the past where uh, displace out where you have um, an attribute wrangle that sets the velocity um, what is it? at V is equal to at uh, our normals. Um, but again, to each his own. All right, so cool, you've got that. Um, so now we have our decaying geometry and if we throw a merge node down really quick, you can kind of see that uh, we have, uh, let's see here, a really cool uh, little decaying dude right here with some displacement over the area where it's being eroded from, which is kind of neat. So boom. Some displacement, blue, he starts, you know, kind of disappearing. And again, you could clean this up a lot more, but, you know, there you go. All right, so now let's go ahead and add in our initial uh, uh, pop network. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to remap our, uh, our road. Um, we're going to give, we're going to add an attribute remap, and we're going to remap uh, right here 
into our re remap graph, add one, and set the position value to 0.5, and then bring the bottom one down. So our erosion property now, wherever wherever something gets eroded from, anything that's gonna be, uh, it's gonna send particles out, it's gonna send it out along this path right here from our erosion. So basically at the height of uh, uh, our displacement, which you could probably set it back here or whatever, but uh, I like to do it like this. I learned it like this, so I leave it like this. Um, We'll add some point velocity here, so we get a little bit of curling action. Um, and again, go to curl noise, add curl noise, scale this to what, I don't know, like 35 and swirl size 0.65. I don't know, you could play with this a little bit more. And then the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna add our pop network. And we're gonna hop into this guy and we are going to uh, go back here to our source. And again, if we go back to this, start here go to our source we want to delete our guy because here we're going to um we're going to set it to points we're going to call our emission attribute the erode we're going to scale point count by area and then we're going to set this to zero uh 0 0.01 so there's a little bit more density inside the area now you'll notice if i go ahead and click play all of my uh all of my uh pop force or uh uh, particles now emit from just the areas where we set the ramp to be for or the remap to be for our node. Now you're getting all of that velocity from our point velocity node and yeah so now we can go ahead if we wanted to we can add uh, a merge node down here. Um, let's add in some gravity below it maybe some gravity force uh, down here maybe set our gravity to something like negative 0.5. Um, let's go ahead and in, uh, endpoint our ground plane and throw our ground plane into our merge. I like to go ahead and go in there and switch those back over here. Uh, uh, Shift S in order to kind of clean up uh, my network here and make my lines look good. Anyways, uh, yeah. And then let's go ahead and let's throw in a pop force really quick. Uh, pop force is going to allow us to, well, I don't know, let's throw our thing back up here, amplitude 35. Um, and then let's add in some uh, pop drag. Uh, and again, this is all for the sake of, you know, you guys can tweak this out as, as, as needed. Um, and then go back into our area here. Um, yeah, we're leaving that uh, alone. Going into our birth, uh, life expectancy, leave it at one, set it to 0.5 for the time being. Um, and again, you can do, I mean, for the, for the sake of this, we'll just leave it on constant birth rate. Um, for now, we can change that later, but anyways, uh, okay. You could do a lot more with the, with the particles and all of that stuff, but we're going to hide the ground plane here. So just go ahead and hide that sucker. And then now you'll see as everything's kind of falling down, it's kind of cool looks good we can add a lot more uh, if we wanted to but for the sake of this we'll just hop back out here and we will go ahead and um, and again we will send a null out we will call this pop out we will save this boom and we can go ahead if we wanted to and just kind of take a look at what it looks like um, one of the things that you can do is make sure that you hit a blast node right here so we get rid of the ground. Um, and then, yeah, just select uh, stream source and delete non selected. Uh, that'll get rid of the ground so you don't see it, but it still functions. Um, and yeah, let's see what we got. So, yeah, so our particles start happening right around our displacement. Um, yeah, no, again, you could fill the, the whole geometry up with the volume and have it, you know, kind of coming from the inside out or whatnot, but this typically works for the most part. And now you have some collisions at the bottom with the ground as soon as the particles hit the ground, which is cool. So, yeah, uh, one of the last cool things that you could do, um, and again, you could add some attribute blur to this to make the particles do some really cool things, or you can go ahead and what we're going to do um, we are going to, I'm going to delete these uh, for now. I'm going to hide this and then I'm going to show you guys. Okay, so here, uh, let's go ahead and add another geometry node and this is going to be our character out. So this is character 
Um, so this is just, uh, we're gonna bring him in using an object merge, and then we're gonna go into here, and we're gonna find where our character is, our character out here. Um, and then let's go ahead and bring him in. And I think actually, if you notice, I have two because I, I did two node trees, but like uh, we can go ahead and use the decay out. That was the second one, hit accept. And now uh, if we just turn that on and play it back, our character should just decay away uh, because that was, the, that was the out node. So there he goes, decaying away, looks great, cool. Um, same thing we're gonna do with our displacement. Um, so uh, again, let's go ahead and add another geometry node. We're gonna go ahead and call this displacement. Um, let's go ahead and hop in there and object merge this guy in. And then we, I think our displace out, because mine's re renaming it to displace out one because I already had one named that. So now you'll see my, our displacement comes out with it now. And again, I would spend some time cleaning that up. Um, but then uh, finally, we could do uh, what, I uh, just bring our pop network out. So geo, and then let's call this uh, pop, uh, and it's just our particles. And then let's object merge those. Um, and then you're gonna get right here, uh, where are you? Pop out, mine's one, because I already did one, so boom. So now there's my particles. Now this is a pretty cool little trick. Uh, if you have mops, um, and which obviously you did because we did it this way, um, one of the cool things that you can do, let's go ahead and add a platonic uh, solid down really quick. Um, and then we're gonna copy all of our points. Uh, we're gonna copy our platonic to all of those particle points. So now you get platonics to all of that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna reset the transform on all of that and bring our scale down so they're really tiny, right? Uh, so you get something like, like, I don't know, like that right now, okay? And then I think what's cool is, uh, if we just play that back now, oh, uh, one of the things you wanna do is make sure you pack an instance those so they all become instances, so it's a lot lighter. Um, but yeah, you'll see all of those pieces of geometry now kind of fall like this, but if you want to add some a random rotation and random things like that, you know, Mops has that built into, um, built in. So you can just add some randomization using a Mops randomize right here. Um, and then you'll notice that you can select uh, randomize uniform scale. We can bring our scale down and you uh, randomize that. Um, I can also randomize our orientation of every single one. So now you get some, uh, let me see if I bring that back up. You'll see if I add uh, the random uh, orientation that I can add that in now and completely control how I uh, randomize all of these things, which is really cool because you could actually even animate them. Uh, so anyways, you got a lot more control there. So that, that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, uh, let's bring these guys back down. Um, and then now if I go back out, uh, I have all of my items here. Uh, I think, yeah, let's just keep that hidden. And then go ahead and click off, and then zoom back out, and then go ahead and see what we got here. And boom, just like that, we just recreated uh, all of that. Just a quick, simple disintegration effect. Um, and again, if you play with your particles and you get really creative, you can do some really sick stuff. Now what you can do is continue to layer on, add some pyro, add some pyro advection on all of the particles and do some really cool things where there's like some smoke dis uh, disintegrating alongside all of your particles so you get a, a really cool effect. And again, you can continue to break that down and break that up, but this was a really, 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 really simple way to attack disintegration uh, and add a cool little layering effect without getting too crazy with all vops and, and, and shit like that, just using mops. So anyways, uh, cool little technique.